I'm Sarah Foley. Um, I've just finished my PhD in developmental psychology where I followed couples as they were becoming parents for the first time. And I was really interested to see whether things that they were thinking about their baby during pregnancy were related to the way that they later interacted with the infant. Um, I'm particularly interested in how first time fathers come to think about their baby um, and develop that early bond and relationship away from the mother infant relationship. Um, and then since my PhD finished, I have been following the families again as they've gone on to have baby number two um, and seeing whether the way that they thought about baby number one is affecting the way that they think about baby number two. Um, and now I'm just moving on to work with more what we call uh, non-traditional families, so families that have followed an alternative route to parenthood, so that might be through assisted reproductive technologies or through adoption, surrogacy. Um, and looking to see how those family relationships develop. Um, I deposited my thesis into Apollo because I had to. Um, my <laughs> funders, the um, ESRC, would uh, have specified that my um, thesis would be open access. Um, and I remember having a presentation at the Centre for Family Research where I work, where we had members of the university library team come over and talk to us about open access. And I had a little poster that I kept with me on my desk and as soon as I um, finished my PhD I knew which um, I followed the flowchart and just deposited it online. The reason I, one of the reasons I did do it was because as part of my research I did a meta-analysis where I pulled the results of lots of different studies and one of the studies that I included in the meta-analysis was one that I was a thesis that had been deposited in a different university and because it was open access I was able to get it and include it. Um, so I felt that it would be nice if anybody in the future was hoping to do something like that they could include, selfishly they could include my study in that as well. Um, so I wasn't aware that you could look at the download statistics on the thesis, um, but I have now been told that I can and we had a little look before which was really exciting and I found that actually lots of people have engaged, um, well, I say lots, it looks like at least 50 <laughs> people had looked at it um, and that seemed to follow um, an interview that I had done as part of the university um, uh, for the university website about a paper that I'd had published um, coming out of my PhD looking at the predictive value of parents' thoughts and feelings about their infant during pregnancy on the quality of their later interactions with the baby. Um, so that's nice that people wanted to read a little bit more about my work. So I don't think having my thesis in Apollo will affect my ability to publish later on um, and that's mainly because the work as part of my PhD um, focused on the British arm of an international um, longitudinal study. So the results in my PhD are mainly based, or they are based, on just the UK sample whereas when I publish, I'll go on to publish, um, I'm going to be basing my analyses on all of the data so I'll be drawing on British, American and Dutch parents um, to explore different questions surrounding cultural contrasts in their transition to parenthood um, and how that affects people's developing thoughts and feelings about their infant. Um, I don't know whether having my thesis in Apollo will do anything for my academic career. Um, I don't know what my academic career is going to look like um, but I think it's a good way to start and um, the way that the field is moving towards open access that I'm, I'm happy to share my findings.